Actor Alec Baldwin faces a charge of involuntary manslaughter after a woman was shot dead in the set of a film. Cinematographer Hannah Hutchins was killed in October 2021 when Baldwin fired a prop gun. Baldwin faces up to 18 months in jail and a fine of more than £4,000 if he is convicted. Teresa Beardsley is a specialist in set safety and she joins me now from California. Teresa, thanks very much for joining me today. I want to ask you first about this question of on-set safety. Is there an endemic problem in Hollywood when it comes to this issue? Absolutely. Um, the conditions in H Hollywood films are absolutely chaotic, long hours, um, it, and it is a safety issue. Is Alec Baldwin, though, the only one responsible? Because there are surely other experts on set, other people who should have been monitoring this situation. Um, it feels very much like he is at the focus of this, but, but surely there is more to it than that. There's always more to it. And um, the courts will decide um, where the responsibility lies and, and who is going to be responsible for what. Um, but this really uh, the responsibility falls on um, the leadership. Um, safety really starts at the top. So um, if, if you don't have leadership at the top, and then, it, then you don't have the safety that comes down to uh, uh, anything on site. Teresa, is it the case that a lot of this is to do with the fact that you're dealing with creative people, and a lot of time for creative people, health and safety isn't really the top priority? Could that be the case? I think that safety often falls to the wayside. Um, crews are deeply concerned about their safety on in the workplace, on site, on set. Um, like I said, they're working long hours, 12 to 16 hour days. Um, they're carrying uh, lots of equipment, uh, lots of deadlines. There are a lot of egos, so often the creative um, gets pushed ahead of uh, some of the safety protocols. And how often does this kind of thing happen? I mean, we're hearing about this presumably because Alec Baldwin is so famous, but are these kind of accidents more common than we think? Um, uh, yes, they are. Um, not particularly those that lead in um, lead to death, but there are a lot of injuries. Um, uh, I mean, there are a few that lead to death, of course. You know, you see uh, the public events where there are trampolines and and things of that nature. Um, but yeah, there there are often at least one or two uh, physical injuries or incidents on site. So what would you like to see happen in terms of Hollywood, in terms of changing this culture to prioritise safety more? What can, what can the executives there be doing? Executives should really be the, the studios, production companies, producers. Um, there are protocols, right? Um, but they really need to set a culture of incorporating these, um, maybe even uh, having a safety representative on site. Some companies do this already, um, that they have uh, somebody who's in charge of all of this. I mean, you know, we saw with Russ, there were all the checks and balances that were missed. Um, and uh, so you could have somebody on set who's dedicated completely to overseeing the risk assessments um, and, and uh, everything that goes on um, and ensure that everything moves uh, along uh, safely.